Sharks are highly sophisticated predators, which have everything they need to be at the top of the food chain. In the water, shark attacks on humans are rare. But when they do occur, they can result in major injuries or death. Stay tuned to the end of the video, if you want to find out about all the different types of shark attacks and which sharks most commonly attack humans. Also find out about one of the largest shark attacks in recorded history. Most shark attacks occur in near shore waters. Typically near a sandbar where sharks feed and can become trapped at low tide. Areas with steep drop-offs are also likely attack sites. Sharks gather there because their natural food items also gather in these areas. Historically the death rate, due to shark attacks, was much higher than it is today. But the advent of readily available emergency services and improved medical treatment has greatly reduced the chances of mortality. There are three major kinds of unprovoked shark attacks. By far the most common are, hit and run attacks. These typically occur in the surf zone with swimmers and surfers as normal targets. After this type of attack the shark doesn't return after inflicting a single bite. In most instances, these are probably cases of mistaken identity that occur under conditions of poor water visibility, and a harsh physical environment. It is not surprising that sharks might occasionally misinterpret a human for its normal prey. Upon biting, the shark quickly realizes that the human is a foreign object, or that it is too large and immediately releases the victim. The other two types of shark attacks are less common, but result in greater injuries and the most fatalities. These types of attack usually involve divers or swimmers in somewhat deeper waters. But also can occur in near shore shallow waters in some areas of the world. Bump and bite attacks are characterized by the shark initially circling and bumping the victims, prior to the actual attack. Sneak attacks are different than the other two. A strike occurs without warning. Injuries incurred during this type of attack are usually quite severe, frequently resulting in death. It's believed these types of attacks are the result of feeding behaviors rather than being cases of mistaken identity. Almost any large shark, roughly 2 meters or longer in total length, is a potential threat to humans. Three species however, have been repetitively implicated as the primary attackers of man. The white, tiger, and bull sharks. All three can reach large sizes and consume large prey. Such as, marine mammals, sea turtles, and fishes. As normal parts of their diets. These species probably are responsible for a large portion of bump and bite and sneak attacks. Other species, including hammerhead, the oceanic white tip, and certain reef sharks such as the Caribbean reef shark, also have been implicated in these styles of attacks. Most shark attacks involving sea disasters, plane, and ship accidents probably involve bump and bite or sneak attacks. One of the worst shark attacks in history happened at the end of World War II. When USS Indianapolis was hit by Japanese torpedoes in the final weeks of the war. Hundreds of crewmen jumped into the water to escape the burning ship that was surrounded by sharks. About 900 men survived the initial torpedo attack. But, just 317 sailors survived at the end. It is estimated that 150 sailors were killed by sharks, making it one of the deadliest shark attack in all of history. There is less known about the offending parties in hit and run cases, but, it is safe to assume that many shark species might be involved.
evidence from Florida, which is 20 to 30 of these types of attacks per year, suggests that the black tip and black nose shark are the major culprits in this region. Like most years, Florida had the most reported unprovoked shark attacks in 2019. Of the 64 unprovoked attacks worldwide, 21 of them were in Florida. While all the attacks in Florida were non-fatal in Australia we have a completely different situation. There have been only 7 fatal shark attacks this year. Looking at the total number of shark attacks reported in Australia this year. Fatal and non-fatal doesn't necessarily stand out. However the number of deaths in 2020 is a record in modern times. Again, bull, great white, and tiger sharks are responsible for most of Australia's shark attack deaths. 6 out of 7 shark attacks in 2020 in Australia are classified as unprovoked. Provoked attacks occur when a human initiates interaction with a shark in some way. These include instances when divers are bitten after harassing or trying to touch sharks. Attacks on spear fishermen usually occur while unhooking or removing a shark from a fishing net and so forth. Unprovoked attacks are defined as incidents where an attack on a live human occurs in the shark's natural habitat. With no human provocation of the shark. It is important to mention that most shark attack victims are surfers. Which means, they were often out in deeper waters and in more inaccessible areas. The number of human and shark interactions is strongly correlated with time spent by humans in the sea. As the human population continues to expand, an interest in outdoor aquatic recreational activity increases. The frequency of shark attacks will likely rise. Researchers can't fully explain why unprovoked attacks happen. Historically low numbers of fatalities have made it difficult to discern causes or trends. It looks like sharks will remain mysterious predators whose behavioral patterns are largely unknown. I hope you have enjoyed the show. Please like, and subscribe. It really helps our channel. If you have any suggestions please leave a comment below. From all of us here at Preferably Pets thank you for watching. And stay safe out in the water.